Alright you beautiful people of the interwebs, Glyn here, Cheapskate Gaming and this little video is PS5's had its 1440p update but what if you've got an old Samsung 2018 TV and you want to see if you can get the 1440p to work well technically the Samsung TV does work uh, the 2018 QLEDs so the NU8000, the Q7FN, the Q8FN, the Q9FN uh, I think they've got the 8F, the 9F as well. Um, depending on where you are, if you're in America, I think they're just called the 7F, 8F. If you're in U Europe, UK, it's called the 7FN, 8FN. Um, and the um, the one that's not a QLED is called the NU8000. Anyway, those TVs do support 1440p. But there's a bit of a problem with the PS5 and that. Essentially, they only support 1440p at 120 hertz so what do we do well i'm going to do the test here as you can see i've got the test up um above me i've got the direct capture oh no that's a screen capture sorry screen capture so i'm just capturing my, my screen here um and then to the other side of me that side of me to uh would be my right there is the um direct uh capture from the capture card so i've got the software from the capture card above me and the direct capture to the right of me so let's have a look what happens when we try to do it so we're going to test the 1440p and what you'll find is that the television won't show anything but the um uh, the capture card will show but it does sort of work and what you've basically got to do is is um, on your controller you need to push right and select yes um, which you won't be able to see if you haven't got a capture card but if you you can do it blind um, and then once you've done it like three times eventually the screen will come on and then um, let's anyway let's let me just show you anyway eventually what we're going to do we're going to try and fix it so we can play 40.p for the samsung qled so um Let's come back out here. So screen and video. Well, let's let's go all the way back to the hour. So you need to be in your settings, and you need to go down to your uh, screen and video. Um, and resolution, you want to set this to automatic. So um, if I just have a look at my output now, currently I'm on 60 hertz 4K. Okay, and this is a uh, on the samsung q7 fm which you can just see the corner off behind me but you see in the screen so we're going to test the 1440p so now you press ok now you wait about three or four seconds now what you should see is where the question mark is it should come up with something so i'm pushing right on the control pad again wait a couple of seconds Push right on the control pad you see something come up there keep pushing right and now you can see the 120 hertz mode now it does work this you've got to do it within 15 seconds yes again so i'll go through it again just so you can see it but now again and there we are look um you can't see it on the capture card the capture card has just crashed but test 1440p output your hdmi device supports 1440p for these video settings okay um, let me just start up the uh, 4k thing which has somehow managed to disappear here it is uh, and bring that across there we go so we'll, we'll test it again okay so um although it's not in 14.p now it will run so again We'll do it again, test the 1440p output, test it. In the next screen, it will what it is, because it runs at 60 hertz, it won't pick it up on the television, but the capture card will. So you press OK. Now again, I'm pushing right, count to about four or five seconds, and then hit yes. You can see it's come up on my, on my TV there. Yes. Again, keep pushing right. And again, yes keep pushing right so i'm trying to get it on here so i'm pushing right on here yes and now you should find that it actually comes up on all the screens okay 
and we're good. Uh, the Elkata has crashed again, but that's not a problem. Right, so anyway, we've got the 120 hertz graphics mode selected. Our source is 1440p at the minute and 120. Now, how can I tell that? It's a bit hard to see it, but it's up in here. Um, let's see if I can make that bigger. All right, bang goes my face. But we can see here, we're capturing source is capturing at 1440p and 100, well, it says 119, it means 120. So let me just put this back. Very janky way of doing it, but you know what I mean? Whatever works. So we'll try the new game and see if we get it working. Um, just, just select anything. Hopefully loading won't take too long. <laughs> Here we go. That's now running at 120 frames. Although it might, might you can tell it's a little bit chunky. But there we are. It's essentially we're running at 120 frames. It is nice and smooth. A demonic insect. And just turn the sound down a little bit for the fights. Now, if I just bring this out a little bit and turn it a bit, we we'll bring the television up. And I'll just check now as well on the television that we're getting what we say we're getting. So I can go to, on a Samsung, you go to support, you go to self-diagnosis, and you can go to signal information. And there we go. We're at 2560 by 1440, so 1440p. Um, you won't be able to see this because it's in the, right in the distance there. Um, I'll try and make my screen bigger. Hold on. I might just pick it up. Uh, it's a little bit blurry, but... Unfortunately, I'm just using a crappy cheap webcam. Not much I can do about that, I'm afraid. But yeah, so it is actually running this game at 1440p. Um, I'm not sure we got ray tracing working on it as well. Right, so this has been Glenn Cheapskate Gaming News Tech Reviews, and this has been how to get your uh, 2018 Samsung. Might work for the 2019s, I'm not sure, but I know it'll work for the NU8000, the Q7FN, the Q8FN, and the Q9FN Samsung 2018 TVs, 1440p on the PS5. Right, Glenn out. See you next one. Bye now.